you even know what, where this is made? Rabbit hole. Where? Kentucky? Tennessee? I don't know where Louisville? Rabbit hole is on them. Uh, that was, mm. Louisville, Kentucky. There you go, Louisville, Kentucky. Did you know Kentucky. I just named Louisville and Kentucky like they were two different places? Because <laughs> I was trying to say a state like Louisiana, and I said Louisville. Okay, so, so welcome back. Yeah. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We are. I'm Sean. I'm Dan. And this should go well. This little ditty known as Rabbit Hole. Kentucky's known as Rabbit Hole. Pretty sure it says Kentucky Straight Bourbon. We should have known it's from Kentucky. <laughs> does it? Yeah, it does right there. All right then. Cool bottle. Sweet embossed rabbit. Yep. On the front. We were super big fans of the uh, cherry. Cherry. PX Sherry. Sherry. Yeah. So I said PX Sherry. Okay. You did that time. You said cherry. No, PX Sherry. Baby's on there. Dude, that. So was the last one. I think we're just getting weaker. <laughs> we did run today. Did you rinse our glasses? No. Did you really not? Mine still smells like uh, Canadian rye. It definitely is. <laughs> doesn't. Oh! Oh! What do you want to say about this? It's 14 years old. It's two years old. Uh, it's not sourced. That's true. It is not sourced. It is by Rabbit Hole. It's four grain. Yep. So they've got. 70% <laughs> corn, 10% wheat, 10% honey malted barley, and then 10% malted barley. Temper yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, so they're counting the two barleys, the honey malted barley and the malted barley as two separate grains. Which, I guess, they finish them differently, so that makes them different grains? I don't know. I'm misinformed, apparently. I thought it had to be wheat and rye. You know what it smells like? It, it smells a, it genuinely smells a little young. Do we know how yeah. old it is? Maybe it's four two years. Two years, I said that. It's oh, two you, years you said old. that to me? God, I heard you do twice. it. I was just testing you. I want to make sure you remembered. Yeah. Um, There's some alcohol, like some like ethanol, some... but. Oh. Ow. No more swirling for me at the, at the, at the moment. I'm we'll seeing if there's any holes that developed in these glasses or something. I wore them out from drinking through them. There is some ethanol bite to the, the nose. Nose is a little green. But I get some like some sweeter notes out of it. Some uh, nice orange citrus. You know what it reminds me of? Like a hint of? Like a field, a beautiful golden field of wheat. Do you know what wheat smells, smells like? like? Yeah, in the air when you drive by it. When the last on a windy like day. A wheat field. Well, we live near a thousand of them. Hmm. Those aren't corn, dude. Those are all wheat. We don't grow wheat. Oh. Was that, a, was that, a, was that your O face or your O face? Oh. Ooh, really? Yeah, it tasted really green. Like, I don't know. I got the exact same. Like, like grass. Grassy. Yeah. Okay, somehow. The nose? What is going on? I don't know, man. Dude. Splash, splash, splash in my face, dude. That's what Watch she this. said. <laughs> I got it right in my nose. I just bit my lip. Disaster. This is a disaster. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna give a real nose. Honey and vanilla. In order. Like typical bourbon. Yep. A little citrus. But, and then like some, like a few, like a little bit sharp. Ethanol, like a sh Sharp, strong, like grainy note. Yeah, like green alcohol smell. This is two years old? Yeah. I've but had way, way worse, worse two year old yeah. bourbons than this. So, hear, hear me out. I would have guessed. Age it two more years. I would have guessed this was four. Yeah. That's really specific. But I'm saying, what I'm trying That's to say. That's why I was like, you would have guessed it's older. What I'm trying to say is, I would have guessed it's twice its age. Because the, the sharp notes that are there do smell like it's a little bit young, but they aren't overbearing. Like, the other stuff comes first. Yeah, there's like um. I've had a lot. I've had a lot worse two year old <laughs> Have we had a better two year old? There's like an oily smell too. Like, I think it's the barley. Oh, it's high barley. Okay. It's like sweet corn up front, like a lot. Um, into like a caramel note with a little bit of oak. 
it yeah it tastes like they're like i would guess that there's a high amount of barley in there like it's got it's thin yeah but it's, it's really oily thin. somehow it's almost like sweet corn bread yeah and we just honestly the more it sits and opens up the better it smells the nose get, has gotten better it's gotten less sharp Yeah, there's just a really, so much whiskey on really table. young graininess to the flavor. Get on. <laughs> For having zero rye, though, there's like a, a decent amount of. I like, I like how you <laughs> just, just gloss over. Completely it. ignore yeah. that I just about tip this over, that over, and smash that. <laughs> but uh, like I was saying. For being no rye, it's got like a, a spicy characteristic in it, and almost the finish. But it's really soft on the palate. Yeah. Like really soft. Like um, not like punchy at all. Oh, I just got, okay. Like really unripe bananas. Unripe? <laughs> yeah. Green bananas. Okay. Listen, it's not placebo because I smell it too. Yeah. I don't know if that was a note we weren't saying. Yeah. Because now it's so blatantly obvious. Listen, I don't want to agree with him. All right. So it's like, it, like as you said, as it sits there and opens up, gets mm. more air. Like a lot of that citrus punch has gone away. No, but that green note is the yeah. the unripe bananas though yeah. for sure. No, that's probably. I'll put it out there. The best call of something you've ever done. I you not, <laughs> not all of us, ben. but you. Yeah. It's a little, it's a little green, yeah. and it's a little sharp at first, and it's like that really, really sweet corn, mm -hmm. um, with like, like you said, a little, a little spice on the finish, but yeah. not on the palate. The palate's like nothing, like velvet soft. It, yeah, I'm telling you, it's that high barley. It's so, yeah. it's, it's thin. It's super thin. And mouthfeel, it's weeded too. But it is so like oily feeling in yeah. your mouth. It's really weird. For being two years old, I'm genuinely surprised it's only two years old though. I wouldn't, I would, I expect more. Green sharp notes, grassy notes, hay notes. You know, yeah, you get a little bit on the nose, a little, a little bit in the palate, a little. Another Not, two years on a barrel. I bet you this is real good. This is oh, this 40 is forty or fifty. We'll call uh, this was fifty. I, right. I think it's forty nine ninety nine. It was fifty. So, yeah. Um, uh, fifty is too high. Fifty is too high for that. Is fifty too high for this when it's like six years old? Maybe not. Fifty is too high for it right now. 50 is too high for it to taste green. C minus. That is pretty low. Here's the problem with it. It's 50 bucks. You're paying $50 for a two year old bourbon. Mm -hmm. this? 30 bucks? I'm on board with that. Okay, so that's the thing. So I know, I know, I know, I know. They have to at least, you, you have to start out somewhere. You do. And it should only get better. But the, no, but I'm not, see, the, this is where I don't disagree though, is that you have to, how about like I don't know the overhead and all the nonsense, right? Okay. I'm not a business, mm -hmm. but you can't start at fifty dollars. I With you that. can, they do. We bought yeah. it. People have bought it. Lots of people bought it. That my issue is, it annoys me when I buy a two year old bottle or a four year old bottle yeah. because they have to cover their overhead. Here's the thing. On the flip side of that, if this is incredible at six, eight, ten, whatever years, I'm, I'm not gonna... unhappy. I spent the fifty. Ah, the first yeah, time. but I'm, I'm, he I'm hesitant now that I've had this to buy further. Oh no! Nope. Until someone else I is disagree. like, "Nah, it's really good," and I'm like, "All right, I'm on what, if, what if in, what if in what if next year they come out and go, we have four year now, and it's fifty bucks." Done. I wouldn't be, but that's what I'm right saying. I wouldn't be hesitant to yeah, buy. Yeah, but I'm yeah. Right now, I'm saying I'm at the point for where this, I would yes. never go look for this again at fifty bucks. Sure. That's why I give it the C minus. Um, All right, but Neil, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go salad C. Okay. Because. Even though it the the fifty dollars at for a craft annoys me, mm -hmm. later down the road, it won't annoy me that I supported them because yeah, it'll to get be where good. they're going. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that's good. They have to cover their overhead. Now here's the thing: a lot I'd of people just pay eighty for their PX sharing. Well, that's the thing: a lot of distilleries cover Buy their that. overhead by sourcing, sourcing and selling. Yeah, they went right at it. Like New Riff was forty bucks for a four year bottled and bond. For their very first release ever. Right. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna go middle of the field. I'm going, would I buy this again at two years? Nope, not for 50 bucks. You got if there's a four year, will it be 50 bucks? Would I buy it? Yep, 100%. Yeah. If it was 6.50, I'd buy it. If it was eight years, 50 bucks, I'd buy it. I like the distillery. I like the. I like what I like they're the doing. Bottle. I like the look, yeah. The sherry's incredible. It is amazing. If you like sherry finished whiskey, look yeah. no further. There's not one better than I think. Maybe uh, Revival, but that's Yeah, it. I mean, that's what I was gonna throw up there. Right. It's strong, number two. So, 
It, it is what it is. C-ish. C-ish, yeah. C-ish. Cool. There you go. Not mad at it. Not, don't love it. We're the Bourbon Junkies. I'm Sean. I'm Dan. Proof's in the fort.